All right, today we're going to be looking at setting up our Dynasty 350 for gas tungsten arc welding of carbon or stainless steel. First thing we're going to do is hook up our leads. We have our workpiece connection, which goes with this symbol here. Make sure that's snug. We have our electrode lead, which goes with this symbol up here. All right, I already have these hoses hooked up, but if those aren't on there, make sure they're snug so you don't lose any water. And then our gas goes in here. We have our uh, wireless remote control communication, which plugs in right where your cable would for a remote. Remember, you always got to turn this by the yellow part. If you turn the back of it, you'll twist it apart. that in, that's all hooked up. Get our foot pedal out. We're going to turn on our gas. Remember, make sure nobody's in front of it. Open it slowly. And then when that needle moves and you have pressure, you can open it the whole way. At this point, we can turn on our power. Once it's booted up, we're going to just go on these from this side to this side, one thing at a time. First, we're going to select our polarity for carbon and stainless. We're going to do direct current. Our process, we can do high frequency impulse, which uses the high frequency to jump the arc across. Or we can do lift arc, which is going to watch for us to actually touch the electrode to the steel and then lift it up. We're going to go ahead and leave it on high frequency to start. Our output, standard remote, is when I push this. I start getting amperage. The more I push the gas pedal, the more amperage I get. The 2T hold is actually a push initial amperage, let go, it goes to the full amperage, and then you push it and it ramps down, and when you let go, it stops. So some companies will use that, but we don't use it too much here. Um, if you're on lift arc, you can turn it on, and that means it's hot and ready to go, so you've got to make sure you don't touch the electrode. I'm going to go there. We're not going to worry about pulse or sequencing right now, so we'll skip over those. Our post flow, I like to leave this on auto and it automatically uses a rule of one second for every 10 amps. If you need to save gas, you can turn this up. Just remember you need to have post flow going long enough that your electrode completely cools down before it stops. Our pre flow, I about half a second is a good place. We just want to make sure we have shielding gas down over the material before the arc starts. And then we're not doing AC, so we don't have to worry about that. We hit A. This is going to be our top end of our amperage, so when we push this the whole way down, that's where we're going to be, and we can feather it in between. The last thing we need to do before we start putting our torch together is check and make sure that our shielding gas is flowing at the proper rate. On this machine, you're going to hold down the gas dig button, and when it starts to purge, you're going to turn on your gas, and we want to be flowing about 17 to 20 cubic feet per hour. To put this torch head together, first we need to get all of our consumables together. We have our tungsten, which is already sharpened. We have our collet, our collet body. We have a choice of nozzles here, and then we have our back cap. Now we're going to put our torch head together. We have our consumables together, back cap, tungsten, our collet, collet body, and then a choice of nozzles here. First thing I'm going to do is take my collet body, which is sized to match my tungsten, and I'm going to screw it in, and then we're going to give it just a little turn to snug it up. And we're going to take our collet, which is also sized to match the tungsten, we're going to drop it slit end down, and then our tungsten, which I already have sharpened here, just going to go pointy end down, and then my back cap slides over that and screws in to hold it in place. And I'm going to put a nozzle on this. We want to use as big as we can and still fit in the joint. Um, I have a 5, 6, and 7 here, and that number is the size in sixteenths of an inch. So we have 5 sixteenths, 6 sixteenths, or 3 eighths, and then 7 sixteenths. I'm going to go with my number 6 here, and that's just going to thread on there. And then I can loosen this up, and if I need a little more stick out, I can.
can pull my tungsten out. And then snug it up to get it tight. 